Attention, may we request everyone to please clear the area for in two minutes, our chief PNP will come and we will start the program. Thank you. Barangayahan aims to promote the welfare of our fellow Filipinos, particularly the marginalized communities, and to assist them in coping with the inevitable effect of the current global public health crisis brought by COVID-19 pandemic. Barangayahan showcases the Bayanihan spirit that is the hallmark of the Filipino resilience and compassionate culture. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. And welcome to the nationwide launching of Barangayanihan Health and Food Bank with our Chief PNP, Police General Guillermo Lorenzo Ilazar. Joining with us via Zoom are the regional directors of all police regional offices with their partner stakeholders and Kabarangayanihan and other PNP units and offices. We are also live over PNP Public Information Office Facebook account. To start with, let us all rise for the invocation to be led by Police Brigadier General Jason Ortizo, Director, Chaplain Service. Let us bow our heads and with humble spirit and contrite hearts, let us recognize the holy presence of the Lord. Let us pray. Almighty God, we rejoice for all the wonderful things you have given us and we are all the more grateful for allowing us to gather today for this nationwide launching of Barangay Anihan Health and Food Bank Program. Overwhelmed with gratitude for the abundance of your provisions, we lift to your mantle of divine providence all our stakeholders for generously contributing various essentials to be shared. Sustain these generous contributors with your divine grace and may you continue to channel your overflowing kindness through their magnanimity. Let our ceremony today strengthen our faith in the abundance of your blessings that provide us a profound amount of solace in the face of adversities and trials amid the challenging period of the COVID-19 pandemic. Finally, we beseech you, Almighty Lord, to pour down your special blessings upon the entire PNP organization, more so to our beloved Chief PNP and the People's Chief, Police General Guillermo Lorenzo T. Ilyasar. Grant him the faithful protection of your angels and bestow him the grace to unite us and make ourselves become a blessing to others. Grant all this we ask and pray in your most holy name. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. To formally welcome us all, may we request Police Major General Rodel Sermonia the Director for Police Community Relations. To our Chief PNP, General Guillermo Lorenzo Eliazar, sir, members of the command group, Deputy Chief PNP for Administration, Lieutenant General Pazelito Veracruz, sir, the Deputy Chief PNP for Operations, Lieutenant General 
Ephraim Dixon, sir. To our comebacking director for BPRM, Major General RJ Hinanay, sir. Of course, the director of logistics, Major General Angelito Lito Casimiro. The director for controllership, soon to be Major General Rodolfo Asurin Jr., sir. Other senior officers, members of the Philippine National Police, our stakeholders, members of the media, magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. The mandate of the Philippine National Police is to enforce the law. Crime prevention, maintain peace and order, and ensure the safety of the public. But the PNP is much more than that. When the COVID pandemic hit, the whole country, actually the whole world, including the PNP, was thrown in an unfamiliar situation, a health crisis of immeasurable proportions. For a brief moment, the country stood quietly trying to understand what was happening. So many questions running in our head. As we hear the words, lockdown, closure of businesses, curfew, stay at home, online classes, and many more. Initially, to those who can afford not work, it was a long overdue vacation. For, but for most of our countrymen, it was a moment of panic. Gutom was the loudest cry. For us in the PNP, it was not the time to sit and relax or entertain fear. We had to set aside our doubts and worries. We need to heed the call to serve at the front lines. We had to be a source of strength and sign of composure, despite knowing that an enemy we cannot see lurking around us. The number of crimes dropped, for the only things that matter are health and the essentials to survive. The focus of the PNP shifted from our mandate to calling our people to wear masks social distancing, and prevent the spread of the virus. At the heart of the community, the PNP was there not because of a crime, but to deliver food and basic supplies and keep non-essentials off the streets. Ilang buwan pa, kulang na ang ayuda. Marami sa ating kababayan ay, ay walang mapagkunan ng makakain dahil sa kawalan ng trabaho. Mamamatay ka sa COVID o mamamatay ka sa gutom? Ika nga. Ngunit ang pamunuan ng Philippine National Police ay nakita ito na hamon. Sa dahilang ito, pinagbuklod ng aming hanay ang matatag na ugnayan namin sa barangay, sa iba't ibang komunidad at ang kulturang Pilipino na bayanihan. At dito na buo ang Barangayanihan Program. Barangayanihan is the PNP's contribution to the government's efforts to reach out and provide assistance to every Filipino. The Barangayanihan is our anti-hunger drive right on the streets and at the center of our communities since the beginning of the pandemic. It includes feeding programs, relief operations, gift giving, adopt a family program, urban gardening, rectang bayanihan, tree planting, akap kapatid program, revitalized police sa barangay, sikap program, di malasakit, kaayusan, kapayapaan at kaunaran or MKKK, and many more programs from the different provincial regional offices. Seeing that this pandemic is not slowing down, the PNP 
under the leadership of our dynamic, innovative, and kind-hearted Chief PNP, General Guillermo Lorenzo Eleazar, is likewise not slowing down. And in fact, expanding the program with the launching of the Barangayanihan Program Health and Food Bank. At marami pang iba na pro-people programs under the stewardship of our new Chief PNP. Hindi lamang po pagkain ang ating tutugunan at sa tulong ng ating mga stakeholders, kasama na dito ang mga construction companies, tools and supplies, at iba't iba pang mga kagamitan na makakatulong sa ating mga kababayan at mga health kits. Palalakasin natin ang kulturang bayanihan at hindi lamang ngayong pandemya, kundi pati sa panahon ng kalamidad dahil sa mga susunod na buwan pagkatapos ng tag-init or summer at atin na namang haharapin ang mga iba't ibang kalamidad tulad ng bagyo, baha at iba pang pagsubok na darating sa ating buhay maliban sa pandemya. Ang Barangayanihan Program Health Bank at Food Bank ang magiging template ng Police Community Partnership through this program. The PNP in partnership with the community which includes the business groups, entrepreneurs, and all other stakeholders. All the kind-hearted and generous members of the community non-government organization man yan or individual na mga kaibigan natin who are willing to extend assistance may do so through the program and all in the spirit of volunteerism and bayanihan. Again, let me reiterate, hindi po to dagdag na trabaho ng pulis. In fact, This is part of our community relations mandate, which is the heart and soul of Philippine policy. Kasama ang mga stakeholders, ilulunsad ang Barangay Inihan Food and Health Bank sa buong bansa at atin itong matutunghayan sa iba't iba pang regional offices mula Luzon, Visayas at Mindanao. At this point, I'd like to acknowledge all our stakeholders, well-meaning non-government organizations and individuals who responded right away. Pero ito lang po yung pauna natin na mga magiging partners. At marami pa pong mga gustong tumawag at mag-join, pero ang programang ito ay tuloy-tuloy po na gagawin natin. So unahin ko pong i-recognize ang mga nandito In no particular order, I'd like to recognize former Congressman, no, Congressman George Bustos, who donated thousands of dark face shields. Mr. Joseph Gomez, who donated 1,000 sacks of rice. <laughs> Vice Mayor Erwin Jan Jabalubias of Aliaga Nueva Ecija, one truck load of rice. Sir, please stand to be recognized. Mr. Majindir James Kumar, the President of Filipino Indian Commerce and Welfare Society, donated hundreds of sacks of rice, boxes of unipack sardines, at si Sir James Kumar has been our consistent uh, sponsors or donors in all our community engagement. He actually donated in the past months hundreds of bicycles for the ATAP Kapatid Program. We also have here Renato Infante and Raimundo Pino, Japan Tobacco, truckload of rice. <laughs> Mr. Sakol Chiwa Poset, the Vice Chairman of Charuen Pokpan Foods Philippine Incorporated, donated processed food. Marami salamat po. Ms. Joan Salas, Marketing Supervisor of RCS Eastern Enter Trade Corporation Supermarket. Donated truckloads of canned goods. Of course, our very good friend, former Congressman Arnold T. Thank you, sir. Uh, for um, volunteering to
to lend all his construction equipment for our revitalized police the barangay and in times of calamities and disaster willing to share or lend all his construction equipment thank you mr joel cruz of aficionado miss joan pagilla Kame head pss lie for donating one truck loads of canned goods and 20,000 vaccines for our PNP personnel. Maraming salamat. Ma'am Joan Pagia of PSSLI. Non-stop recruitment agency. Truck loads of rice. Of course, the regional director of PRO2, Brigadier General Cesardo Nieves. 100 sacks of rice, San Miguel Corporation, truckloads of canned goods, Mr. Nib Bursuk, Steve Bursuk, President, BTEC Investment, truckloads of canned goods, Mr. Milton Ngu, Cherry Mobile, assorted uh, relief goods, sir, please stand to be recognized. Of course, the DC family, under the stewardship of uh, Major General Rodolfo Asurin, Anti-crime community and emergency response team as represented by Attorney Cherry De La Cruz. Please stand to be recognized. Of course, truckloads of rice from our KK that ambassador and the vice governor of Tabite, Vice Governor Jolo Rebilla, represented by his brother Brian Rebilla. <laughs> Mr. Roland Lim. Thank you, sir, for donating 60,000 face masks, Jackie Chan, assorted goods. Thank you, sir. Zonka, Philippines. Magdalena Mission, led by Ma'am Mirna Reyes. Please stand. Miss Cherry Pie Ceremonia, Miss Cherry Pie Ceremonia, and Emma Libunao, Colonel Libunao, of the Magdalena Mission. Mr. Kakwen Chua, Movement for the Restoration of Peace and Order. <laughs> PNPA class, PNPA class 1989, represented by Brigadier General Alex Sampaga. <laughs> Mr. Gulam Abbas, Pakpil Friendship Association. And Raquel Abbas, Parma and General Merchandise. We hope to touch the hearts of the stakeholders into supporting our aid program to showcase their corporate social responsibility in a most visible ways. So before we continue the program, allow me to indulge you to watch a short audiovisual presentation about Barangay Nihan Health and Food Bank. ABP, please. Barangay Anihan. Isang mahalagang katangian ng Philippine National Police ay ang pagkakaroon ng aktibo at matibay na ugnayan sa komunidad. Tanda ng tiwala at suporta ng iba't ibang sektor ng lipunan ang pagkakaisa ng mga organisasyon sa inyong pambansang pulisya tungo sa nagkakaisang layuning kapayapaan at kaayusan na matibay na mapangalagaan. Maging sa mga gawaing pagtulong sa mga pangangailangan ng maumayan ay naisa sa katuparan dahil sa magandang ugnayan ng pulisya sa mga mapagkawang-gawang grupo. Sa panahon ng mga kalamidad, agarang pag-ayuda sa mga maumayan ay naisa sa katuparan. Nang magsimula ang pandemya dulot ng COVID-19, Maraming aktibidad ang magkatuwang na isinagawa ng inyong pulisya at mga pribadong organisasyon upang sa anumang paraan ay maibsan ang epekto ng krisis sa hinang pandemya. Barangay Anihan, sa pagharap sa hamon ng pandemya,
pinangunahan ng iba't ibang sangay ng PNP sa pakikisa ng mga organisasyon mula sa iba't ibang sektor ng lipunan, ang pagtugon sa pangangailangang pansiguridad, kalusugan at kaligtasan ng bawat pamayanan. Mas dumami at aktibo ang pag-usbong ng iba't ibang uri ng pagtulong sa komunidad upang mas palakasin ang espiritu ng bayanihan na nagsasalarawan sa magandang ugnayan ng pulisya at mga pribadong individual at organisasyon at upang magkaroon ng isang pagkakakilanlan ang iba't ibang uri ng pagtulong at upang maisalarawan ang pangunahing beneficiaries. Ang katagang barangay ni Han ay tinatag bilang pangkalahatang kalakip na pangalan ng mga aktibidad ng pagtulong. Sa pagkakaroon ng katagang barangay ni Han, mas lumakas ang kalaman ng mga mamamayan sa pamayanan ng mga barangay ng mga pulis at kamalikat ng mga organisasyon ay may malawak at tuloy-tuloy na pagtulong sa buong bansa. Barangay ni Han Health Bank Maraming pribadong individual at mga organisasyon ang walang sawang nagpapaabot ng tulong upang maging bahagi ng namamayaning bayanihan sa buong bansa. Sa pangunguna ng pamunuan ng inyong pambansang pulisya, inilusad ang barangayanihan Health Bank sa National Headquarters ng PNP, sa mga regional at provincial offices, maging sa city at municipal level. Mga mapagkawanggawang individual at organisasyon ay may papaabot ang iba't ibang uri ng ambag na tulong, mga pagkain, kagamitan, maging mga serbisyo. Ang barangay ni Ann Health Bank ay pagkakaisang pagpapaabot ng tulong upang mas mapalakas at mapalawak ang iba't ibang uri ng barangay ni Han sa pamayanan. Barangay ni Han Health Bank, malakas na ugnayan ng inyong pambasang pulisya at komunidad, larawan ng matibay na tiwala at suporta ng mga sektor ng lipunan. Barangay ni Han, sama-samang bayanihan ng malasakit, nagkakaisang layuning makatulong para sa mga mamamayan. Before I'll finally end by welcome remarks and overview of the program, I'd like also to acknowledge all the regional directors of the PROs uh, from Zone Desires and Lindanao for uh, um, helping us in this program. At gusto ko rin pong uh, ihabol na pasalamatan ang ating mga iba't ibang stakeholders mula sa iba't ibang national support units ng Philippine National Police. From CHS, Mr. Gulam Abat, from CIDG, Mr. Andrew Chang, Mr. Luis Mandirigma, Mr. Oliver Pedrezuela, from CES, Mr. Hassan Fard, Ms. Elizabeth Falsino, from CSG, Mr. Letter Nino Lee, Lacan, Philippine M. Villamar, HPG, Mr. Ferdi Sia, Mr. Alfonso Coste, Mr. Henry Yu, and Mr. PJ Romeo. From Anti-Kidnapping Group, Mr. Kakwen Chua, Mr. Mahindir James Kumar, LSS, Ms. Neta Bongko, Maritime Group, Mr. Paul Santos, Mr. Ferdi Kim, Mr. Mike Uba. Muli. Maraming maraming salamat mo. I can see and I can feel that the spirit of volunteerism is very much uh, alive. And at tandaan natin na hindi lamang COVID-19 ang nakakahawa, kundi ang paggawa ng mabuti ay mas malakas na nakakahawa. Maraming maraming salamat po. Mabuhay po tayong lahat. May God bless us all. And welcome to the Philippine National Police Headquarters. Thank you very much, sir. Truly, the Barangayanihan Health and Food Bank will further strengthen the collaboration between police and partner stakeholders, amplifying the thrust and programs of the PNP. We shall now come to the presentation of Certificate of Appreciation to our Barangayanihan Partner Stakeholders. May we request our Chief PNP, Police General Guillermo Lorenzo Elazar, to rise to present the certificate to be assisted by the PNP Command Group, Police Lieutenant General Jose Lito Vera Cruz, the Deputy Chief PNP for Administration, Police Lieutenant General Israel Ephraim Dixon, the Deputy Chief PNP for Operation, Police Major General Rodel Sarmonia, the Director for Police Community Relations, Police Major General Angelito Casimiro, the Director for Logistics and Police Major General Rolando Hinanay, the TDPRM. Certificate of Appreciation is presented to 
Senator Ramon Bong Revilla and Mayor Lani Mercado to be received by Mr. Brian Revilla for their invaluable support to the Philippine National Police in the attainment of its vision, mission, and functions. Given this 14th day of May 2021, in front of PNP Heritage Park, Camp Brigadier General Rafael T. Crame, Quezon City. Thank you very much. Again, a thank you very much. Same certificate is presented to Congressman George Bustos of Patrol Party List. Thank you very much. Same certificate is presented to Mr. Joseph L. Gomez of J.L. Gomez Trucking Services, Bamban, Tarlac. Thank you very much. Same certificate is presented to M Vice Mayor Erwin Havaluyas of Aliaga, Nueva Ecija. Thank you very much. Same certificate is presented to Mr. Manjinder James Kumar, President of Filipino Indian Commerce and Welfare Society, Incorporated. Thank you very much. Same certificate is presented to Mr. Renato Infante and Mr. Raimundo Pino of Japan Tobacco International. Thank you very much. Same certificate is presented to Mr. Sakol Chiwakuset, Vice Chairman, Caruan Pokpan Foods Philippines Incorporated. Thank you very much. Same certificate is presented to Mr. Randy Munoz, Marketing Supervisor of RECS Eastern Intertrade Corporation. Thank you very much. Same certificate is presented to Congressman Arnel P. of 168 Rock Concrete Mix Incorporated. Thank you very much. Same certificate is presented to Mr. Joel Cruz, President and CEO of Central Affirmative Company Incorporated, Aficionado. Thank you very much. Same certificate is presented to Ms. Joan D. Pagia, Crami Branch Head of PSS Lai. Thank you very much. Same certificate is presented to Mr. Gulam Abbas, Pakistan Philippines Friendship Association. Thank you very much. Same certificate is presented to Mr. Andrew Chang of Evergrande Group Incorporated.
Thank you very much. Same certificate is presented to Mr. Luis A. Mandirigma, A and B Liner Incorporated, Tagawayan, Quezon. Thank you very much. Same certificate is presented to Mr. Oliver M. Pedrezuela of Liatrans, Ginayangan, Quezon. Thank you very much. Same certificate is presented to Mr. Steve Borsuk to be received by Attorney Cherry De La Cruz of Axert. Thank you very much. Same, cer same certificate is presented to Lacan Phil M. Villamar of Speed Cars Auto Center. Same certificate is presented to Police Brigadier General Alexander Sampaga of PNPA Tagapagtaguyod Class 1989. Thank you very much. Same certificate is presented to Mr. Ka Kuenchua, Movement for the Restoration of Peace and Order Chairman. Same certificate is presented to Attorney Alwin Tumalad of Bagong Buhay Masonic Lodge Number no. 17. Thank you very much. Same certificate is presented to Ms. Mirna Reyes of Magdaleno Mission. Thank you very much. Same certificate is presented to Mr. Milton Nu of Cherry Mobile. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. Please be, take your seats, Paul. Once again, thank you very much for unwavering support to the programs of the Philippine National Police, particularly in the Barangayan and Help and Food Bank. We would also like to thank the directors of the directorial staff, directors of the National Support Units and the Barangayanihan for supporting this endeavor. The Bayanihan spirit has been practiced by PNP through the Police Community Relations Programs and other community services that are existing and implemented in the different police regional and provincial offices down to police stations. Ladies and gentlemen, let us witness the nationwide online launching of Barangayanihan Help and Food Bank on different regional offices. Let us start with Police Regional Office 1, Ilocos Region. Spearheaded by Police Brigadier General Emmanuel Peralta, together with their partner stakeholders. Pro 1 is located at Camp Brigadier General Oscar Florendo in Parian San Fernando, La Union. In this trying time, no one should be left behind. 
ang buong kapulisan po ay magpapatuloy sa pagtulong sa ating mga kababayan. Hiling namin na mapanatili ang pagsunod sa ating health protocols at magkaisa laban sa pandemya. Diyos ti Agnina. Thank you, sir, and to our kabaranggayanihan from Pro-1. Next, we have the Police Regional Office 2, Cagayan Valley, led by Police Brigadier General Crisaldo Nieves, together with their partner stakeholders and kabaranggayanihan. Pro-2 is located at Camp Marcelo A. Aduru, Tugigaraw City. Magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. Ang Police Regional Office 2 ay opisyal na magbubukas ng barangay Indian Health and Food Bank kasama ang ating stakeholder na si Mr. Jericho Kahuhugan of Chera Valcodi. Uh, Makakasa po kayo sa kami dito sa Lambak ng Kabayan. Ibalik up ay patuloy na mag-aakit ng servisyo publiko sa ating mga mayan sapagkat ang kapulisan ay nakikita, nararamdaman at nagubunta ng taong bayan. Nabuhay ang barangayan niya. Thank you to our Valley Caps. This time, let us witness the launching of Police Regional Office 3, Central Luzon, headed by Police Brigadier General Valeriano De Leon, together with its partner stakeholders and Kabaranggayanihan. Pro 3 is located at Camp Olivas, City of San Fernando in Pampanga. Team Val, one team, one family, one organization. Sa Pro 3, Team Val, Vanguard, a deaf leader. The uh, Pro 3 team uh, gives an all-out support to the PNP project Barangay Anihan, led by our Chief PNP, Police General Guillermo Ilazar. We would also like to thank our stakeholders and LGUs that made our food bank possible and filled for our uh, program. Thank you very much at uh, magandang uh, umaga po sa ating lahat. Thank you very much, sir, and to our Kabaranggayanihan from Pro 3. The Police Regional Office 4A Calabarzon, led by Police Brigadier General Eliseo Cruz, together with their partner stakeholders and Kabaranggayanihan. Pro 4A is located at Camp Brigadier General Vicente Lim in Calamba City. Tangalan po ng uh, pamunuan ng uh, PRO Calabarzon, kami po ay itaos pusong sumusuporta sa programa ng ating CPNP, Police General Guillermo Lorenzo Eliasar, ang launching ng Barangay Anihan, Food Bank and uh, Health. At uh, tunay nga po na ang uh, paglilingkod sa ating mga kabayan ay isang uh, napakarangal na uh, tungkulin upang sa gayon ay makamta natin ang ating mga minimiting katahimikan. At uh, umasa po kayo na ang Tiaro Calabarzon at ang aming mga stakeholders dito sa lalawiga ng Calabarzon, sa limang ba, lamang probinsya ng Calabarzon, ay patuloy na magtutulong tulong upang sa gayon ay uh, makita natin ang uh, kaginhawahan, mabigyan natin ang kaginhawahan ang ating mga kababayan dito na nangangailangan ng tulong ng kapulisan at ng mga stakeholders natin. Magandang umaga po sa atin lahat. Maraming salamat, sir, at sa ating kabaranggayanihan mula sa PRO 4A. We now proceed to Police Regional Office 4B, Nimaropa. Spearheaded by Police Brigadier General Nelson Bundok, together with their partner stakeholders and kabaranggayanihan. Pro 4B is located at Camp Epigenio C. Navarro in Calapan City, Oriental, Mindoro. Police Regional Office ni Maropa, Barangayanihan, Alay ni Tay at Nay, supports the Barangayanihan Health and Food Bank. Magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. Thank you, sir, and to our Kabarangayanihan from Pro 4B. Now, we have the Kasurog Cups. The Police Regional Office 5, Bicol Region, headed by Police Brigadier General Janel Estomo.
together with their partner stakeholders and kabaranggayanihan. Pro 5 is located at Camp Brigadier General Simeon Ola, Legazpi City. Maraming salamat po sir at sa ating mga kabaranggayanihan from Pro5. We now move on to the Police Regional Office 6, Western Visayas, led by Police Brigadier General Rolando Miranda. Together with their partner stakeholders and Kabaranggayanihan. Pro 6 is located at Camp General Martin Chofilo, Delgado Forts, San Pedro, Iloilo City. Unang una po, maraming salamat sa ating uh, sponsor na si Ms. Titi Karen Lansard or Ms. New sa donations na binigay niya sa atin dito sa Pro 6. At asahan din po niyo ang commitment ng buong Pro 6 sa programa ng ating uh, pinakamamahal na Chief PNP, Sir Gilor Eliasar. Asahan niyo po ang Pro 6 commitment na paigting natin ang ating serbisyo publiko dito sa buong Region 6 at sa Negros Island para maramdaman ng taong bayan ang tunay na pagbabago na ihatid natin sa ating dedicated na pagsaservisyo sa bayan. Maraming salamat po. Maraming salamat, sir, and to our kabaranggayanihan from Pro 6. The Police Regional Office 7, Central Visayas, spearheaded by Police Brigadier General Ronnie Montejo, together with their partner stakeholders and kabaranggayanihan. Pro 7 is located at Camp Serio Osmeña Senior, Osmeña Boulevard, Quezon, Cebu City. In line with the Filipino values of helping and supporting each other, especially in times of great need, Police Regional Office 7 affirms its commitment to fully support the project of the Chief PNP, Police General Guillermo Lorenzo Tolentino Eliazar, which aims to address the current need of our countrymen at this time of pandemic, the Barangay Anihan Health Food Bank. Maraming maraming salamat po sa lahat na tumutulong sumusuporta sa Police Regional Office 7. Mabuhay ang ating Chief PNP. Mabuhay ang Philippine National Police. Dahil salamat. God bless us all. Maraming salamat sir at sa ating kabaranggayanihan from Pro 7 there in Cebu City. Next, we have the Police Regional Office 8, Eastern Visayas. Led by Police Brigadier General Ronaldo de Jesus, together with their partner stakeholders. Pro 8 is located at Camp Roberto Cang Leon, Palo Leyte. Kasama ko po rito si Douglas Mine and Noel Rem ang Waray Partilis ang atong pong barangay karting dito sa Kampotik si Ma'am Sir Nito Gusto ko na samantalino po ang kataon ang kataon ang kataon ang stakeholders and donors 
Kung malaki ka natin ng goods dito, kung pamilihan natin sa pagkakitan ng sikis. Again, inuulit ko ang buong suporta ng Police Radio Office 8 sa programa nito ng TPNP at sa Miss General Guillermo Lorenz at Palentino Pagnasol. Mga mga kasaring lahat. Thank you, sir, and to our Kabaranggayanihan from Police Regional Office 8. Now we have the Police Regional Office 9, Zamboanga Peninsula, headed by Police Brigadier General Ronaldo Henero Ilagan, together with their partner stakeholders and Kabaranggayanihan. Pro 9 is located at Camp Colonel Romeo Abendan in Mercedes Road, Zamboanga City. Magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. Una po, ang Team Pro 9 po ay patuloy na sumusuporta sa mga programa ng ating minamahal na Chief of the Philippine National Police, Police General Guillermo Lorenzo T. Eliasar. At kami po ay nagpapasalamat sa aming mga stakeholders dito sa Sambuanga Peninsula sa pumumuno po ng uh, ating Vice Chairman ng Regional Advisory Council at ng Barangay Captain ng Barangay Kakao na kasaba ko po ngayon dito sa inyong harapan. Kaya po kami nakalikom ng uh, mahigit isang truck na food packs upang uh, bigyan ng suporta ang programang Barangayanihan Help and Food Pack. Maraming maraming salamat po. Maraming salamat po sir at sa ating mga Kabarangayanihan mula sa Police Regional Office 9. We now proceed to the Police Regional Office 10, Northern Mindanao, spearheaded by Police Brigadier General Rolando Anduyan, together with their partner stakeholders and Kabarangayanihan. Pro 10 is located at Camp First Lieutenant Vicente Alagar, Cagayan de Oro City. Maraming salamat po sir at sa ating kabaranggayanihan mula sa Pro 10. At this point, let us witness the launching of Police Regional Office 11, Davao Region, led by its Regional Director, Police Brigadier General Filmore Escobal, with their partner stakeholders and kabaranggayanihan. Pro 11 is located at Camp Quintin, Merecido, Davao City. Again, let's hear the short message from Police Brigadier General Filmore Escobal from Police Regional Office 11, sir. Sir, may we request to please unmute your microphone? From PRO 11 po. We also have the Police Regional Office 12, SOC Sergeant. Headed by Police Brigadier General Michael John Dubria. Together with their partner stakeholders and Kabaranggayanihan. Pro 12 is located at Tumblr General Santos City. In behalf of our Regional Director, Police Brigadier General Michael John S. Dobria, the PRO 12 support the Barangay Anihan Health and Post Bank. Magandang umaga, good morning. 
Ah, uh, mayong aga, mayong muntag. Nimbag na digat kada kayo amin. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. At ya hotel, you are more than our God. Maraming salamat po sir at maraming salamat sa ating mga kabaranggayanihan from Pro 12. The Police Regional Office 13, Caraga, led by Police Brigadier General Romeo Karamat Jr. Together with their partner stakeholders and kabaranggayanihan. Pro 13 is located at Camp Colonel Rafael C. Rodriguez in Butuan City. Again, may we hear the message of Police Brigadier General Romeo Karamat Jr. of Pro 13, sir? May we request to please unmute your microphone po? I'm here to call my... of Filipinos who offer shirt and support. And the victory will be in our hearts as we fight the COVID-19 pandemic as well. Salamat, Mabuhay, and Philippine National Thank you very much, sir, and to our Kabaranggayanihan from PRO 13. Now let's go to the Police Regional Office, Bangsamoro Autonomous Region. With its regional director, Police Brigadier General Eden Ugali, and their partner stakeholders and Kabaranggayanihan. Probar is located at Camp Brigadier General Salipada, Pendatun, Parang in Maguindanao. Sa ating lahat, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. Sa ngala ng pamunuan ng Police Regional Office, Bangsamoro Autonomous Region, kami ay taus-puso nagpapasalamat sa lahat ng aming mga stakeholders sa kanilang tulong na ibinigay ngayon at sa pakikiisa sa programa ng ating Chief TNT, Police General Guillermo Ilasar sa Barangay Alihan. Magandang hapon po. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. Maraming salamat, sir, at sa lahat po ng inyong kabaranggayanihan dyan sa ProBar. The Police Regional Office, Cordillera Administrative Region, headed by its Regional Director, Police Brigadier General Ronald Lee, together with their partner stakeholders and kabaranggayanihan. ProCore is located at Camp Major Bado Dangwa, La Trinidad, Binguet. Naimbag na Agsapa, Kabaranggayan, Kinayanihan, Proko in the people of Cordilleras fully support this noble Barangayanihan Health and Food Bank Project of our beloved Chief PNP Police General Guillermo Lorenzo Elazar. Maraming salamat sir at sa lahat po ng ating Kabaranggayanihan from Proko. Again, ladies and gentlemen, let us witness the launching of Police Regional Office 11, Davao Region. Led by its Regional Director, Police Brigadier General Filmore Escobal. Since we are encountering a technical difficulty, we will now proceed to the National Capital Region Police Office, NCRPO. 
spearheaded by Police Major General Vicente Danao, together with their partner stakeholders and Kabarangayanihan. NCRPO is located at Camp Bagong Diwa, Bikutan, Taguig City. Magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. On behalf of the team NCRPO, kasama po natin dito ang ating mga uh, kaakibat sa pagbibigay ng ayuda ang ating po mga different stakeholders. Kami po ay lubos na sumusuporta sa lakad ng ating Chief PNP, which is di Kabarangayanihan, ang team NCRPO. Asaan po ninyo na ang team NCRPO ay laging magbibigay ng serbisyong tama, tapat, may tapang at malasakit para sa buong sambayan ng Pilipino. Mabuhay po tayo. Maraming salamat Team NCRPO at sa inyong mga kabaranggayanihan. Ladies and gentlemen, we have just witnessed the online launching of Baranggayanihan Nationwide. Let's give them a warm round of applause please. Muli, maraming maraming salamat po sa lahat ng ating regional director at sa inyo pong mga katuwang na grupo at personalidad sa pagpapalawig ng mga programa at aktibidad, lalo na po ang ating Baranggayanihan Health and Food Bank handog para sa ating mga kababayan. And now, let us all listen to the Chief Philippine National Police, Police General Guillermo Lorenzo Eleazar. Maraming salamat. Please be seated. Gusto ko muna pong batiin ang ating makasamahan na nandito ngayon sa Camp Crame face to face joining with us on this nationwide launching of our project Barangay ni Han Health and Food Bank. Kasama ko po dito ang ating command group, ang, deputy direct, ang, ang ating Deputy Chief PNP for Administration, Police Lieutenant General Jojo Veracruz, my classmate, palakpan po natin siya. Andyan din ang ating Deputy Chief PNP for Operations, Police Lieutenant General Bong Dixon. Ang Director ng DPCR, ang nakasiwa sa programang ito sa paglo-launch, walang iba kundi si Police Major General Rodel Sermonia, Kasama rin natin ang Director ng DPRM, Personal and Record Management ng, uh, ng Camp Crame, ng PNP, Police Major General RJ Hinanay. Nasa likuran niya naman, ang Director ng Logistics, ang siyang magsisigurado na lahat ng mga donations sa atin are well accounted. Police Major General Lito Casimiro. Gusto ko pong batiin din ang ating uh, Chief, ng, uh, Chief Chaplain, Bigger General Father Jason Ortizo, lahat ng mga senior officers na naandito ngayon. At siyempre, bago tayo pumunta, uh, gusto kong uh, uh, batiin din ang ating Director for Controllership, Police Major General Juna Surin. <laughs> Dahil kung uh, siya po yung aayuda o tutulong para magbigay ng karapatang pondo para mapacilitate ang distribution nitong mga uh, nitong ating mga na-receive ng mga donation. Gusto ko rin uh, uh, batiin muna ang lahat ng iba pang mga opisyales ng ating pambansang kapulisan, particularly lahat ng mga regional directors na kung saan they are joining us online on this launching of this particular project. Labing pitong regional directors Ang masasabi ko nga lamang, para po sa proyekto natin ito, eh ito po ay galing sa ating mga donors. Kung kaya't with all humility, dapat po dito, kung baga kung sa ating recruitment, na walang pangalan, walang mukha, only the qualification will be the basis for their, evalua or for their evaluation. Pagdating sa programang ito, walang pangalan, walang mukha, only the generosity of our donors and the services to the community will be shown and known. Lagi nating tatandaan yan. Huwag na kayo magsip-sip sa akin. Regional directors na kayo. Ha? 
So sa susunod para sa proyekto ito, ang bibigyan natin ng pangarangal ay ang kabutihan ng ating mga donors at ating pagtulong sa ating mga kababayan. On that note, mainit na pagbati sa lahat ng mga donors ng inyong nakikita ngayon. Hindi ko na po isa-isayin pa, but from the bottom of my heart, with the support of the full force of the Philippine National Police, maraming salamat po sa inyo. Ganun din doon sa mga donors natin na nasa iba't ibang rehiyon. Pati na rin yung mga tutulong pa sa ating mga national support unit. Sa members ng ating media, salamat sa inyo dahil through you, kayo po ang magpaparating sa ating mga kabayan nitong kagandahang loob ng ating mga kababayan na gustong tumulong na gagamitin or the PNP will just facilitate this donation from you through us para sa ating mga kababayan na nangangailangan ng tulong lalo na sa panahong ito. And to all other guests, other officers, Police Stand Commission officers, the non-uniform personnel, to all who are listening with us, present here and online, magandang hapon po sa ating lahat. Nung tayo ay maliit pa, nung dati pa, nagba nagbabasa tayo ng mga libro, nagbabasa ng mga comics, lagi nakikita natin yung isang pinakita picture, nagbubuhat ng isang maliit na kubo sa balikat. At doon natin unang napag-alaman ang ibig sabihin ng bayanihan. Sa akin mismo sa pag-iisip nga noon, iniisip ko, ay kasi hindi naman, well, hindi naman bahay kubo yung tirahan namin at sementong nakalapat. Iniisip ko kung paano ililipat siya. Yun ang isip ko sa ating murang pag-iisip. Pero sa ating mga lugar at nakita natin ito noong mga nakaraang mga dekada at malaking panahon, ang pagtutulungan ng ating mga kababayan kung saan binubuhat sa ating mga balikat itong mga concern, problema, hinaing, at even ang angking tahanan ng ating mga kababayan upang mailagay sa lugar kung saan sila dapat doon at mabigyan ng proteksyon. Yun ang ating tinalikhan. Sa ating trabaho sa Philippine National Police, Nakita rin natin yan along the way ang pagtulong ng bawat isa sa kanyang kapwa-tao. Subalit, sa pagkakataon ito, gusto nating ipaalam ang tunay na ginagawa, ang tunay na kaloban ng, ng ating kababayang Pilipino, ang kanilang concern sa ating manakakailangan. Para po sa kalaman ng lahat, itong proyektong ito na pagbibigay ng tulong through our police officers, ay hindi bago. Yan naman yung nakabulatan na natin. Wala pa man nung una, nung tayo mag-join ng Philippine National Police. It so happened that this is being given much attention dahil naghahanap ang ating mga kasamahan, ang mga donors natin, kung paano makakarating ito. Knowing the difficulties and knowing the challenges that we are facing, because of this pandemic. At yun ang aming ino-offer ng ating kapulisan ay inyo maging kunduit, maging instrumento para maparating itong mga tulong nyo. During our pandemic, kung maalala ko pa, during the time of Police General Archie Gamboa, kusang loob na nagtulong-tulong naman ang ating mga kapulisan ng kanilang, kanilang sariling sweldo na pag-ipun-ipunan for the 220,000 police personnel at nakaipon kami noon ng more than 228 million average of 1,000 uh, or 10,000 for each and every personnel para po may dagdag sa kaban ng bayan sa pagtulog sa ayuda ng ating bayanihan. At tayo nagpapasalamat sa lahat ng ating mga kapulisan, sa gesture at sa kanilang ginawang ito 
na pagtulong sa ating bayan. Itong ating food bank, bayanihan, or itong ating food bank, ito naman ay dati nang ginagawa nung una pa rin. At even at the time of Police General Picoy Cascolan, ito ay ating nilaunch na rin. Subalit, napansin natin, napansin natin sa iba't ibang mga rehiyon, sa kanilang revitalized pulis sa barangay na naging bahagi naman at nagko-complement dito sa ating barangay development program ng ating pamalaan which serves as a community foundation to build trust and confidence of the people in their government na saksihan natin na hindi lamang pagkain ang pwedeng ipaabot at pinapaabot nila kundi yung iba na rin tulong. Tulong sa paggawa ng kanilang mga bahay, tulong sa paglilinis ng kanilang lugar, tulong sa anumang pangailangan. Kaya sa pagkakataong ito, what we are launching or what we are trying to make, to consolidate all these efforts of the community is not just food bank but health and food bank. Dahil kung makikita natin, meron tayo makasamahan na nagbibigay ng kanilang serbisyo, mga contractor, construction, uh, construction na uh, uh, businesses, mga suppliers, at iba pang through their business ay gusto makatulong. Hindi limited sa mga pagkain, pwede rin ang mga gamot at iba pang ilangan at pwede rin ibang serbisyo para sa paggagawa ng maliit na proyekto sa iba't ibang mga lugar. So this effort being initiated by DPCR, indeed, ay ipakikita ang talagang damdamin ng ating mga Pilipino, ang pagtulong sa bawat isa. Kaya po, ang ating PNP leadership ay lubos na nagpapasalamat, patuloy na magkapasalamat sa inyo at aming hinihikayat ang iba pang gustong tumulong through this project. Of course, you can always give your donations kung saan man pong mga ehensya na pwede nyo idaan. But it is the commitment of our PNP leadership that all of your donations given to us are being accounted for, will be properly accounted for through the direct rate for logistics at maaring dagdagan pa ng ayuda kung kinakailangan through our director for controllership at ang directorate for police committee relations kasama na ang kanyang mga unit hanggang sa police station ang siyang mag identify kung saat dapat makarating itong mga suporta na binigay ninyo sa amin kagaya ng binanggit ko kanina kami po ay inyong instrumento lamang. Kaya't inuulit ko sa ating mga kasamahan, mga regional directors, provincial directors, city directors, and chiefs of police, sa atin lang po dumadaan ito. Hindi dapat po natin papangalanan na ito ay galing sa atin. At ang gusto nating parating sa ating mga kabayan, Naandito po ang ating kapulisan para palaging tumulong sa inyo. Sa akin pong pagka sa mga obserbasyon sa mga nakaraang panahon, nakaraang buwan, dito mismo sa Kamprami, nakikita natin ang bayanihan. Mismo ang mga miyembro ng ating kapulisan, particular itong Headquarters Support Service, pati nilang Engineering Service, pati nilang Communication Electronic Service, at iba pang mga kaagapay nila sila mismo naka-uniforme, sila mismo ang nagtatabas ng sukal o mga damuhan, sila mismo ang nagtitibag ng ating mga building dyan, sila mismo ang nagtatayo ng mga isolation facilities, sila mismo ang nag-aayos ng mga pangailangan nagpipintura. Hindi alam ng ating mga kababayan yan. Yun ay bayanihan within our organization. Kaya't hinihikayat natin sa pagkakataong ito ang lahat ng ating mga kabayan to be involved on this undertaking which is a great help
to our government. Nagpapasalamat po tayo sa inspirasyon at motivation na pinakikita ng ating pamalaan sa Pangulo ng ating uh, Pangulong uh, Rodrigo Roma Duterte, pati ni po sa mga tulong sa ating iba't ibang sektor ng ating lipunan. At nakahanda po ang Philippine National Police upang kami po ay maging instrumento sa pagtulong ng ating mga kababayang may mga mabubuting loob para makarating sa ating mga mamayan. So with that, once again, salamat, salamat, salamat sa ating mga stakeholders sa inyong pagtulong sa ating mga kababayan. Sa ating mga regional directors and annex unit commanders, salamat sa inyo sa pagiging laging handa upang maging instrumento ng ating pagtulong. At sa ating mga kababayan, ang aming pong commitment sa inyo, naandito po kami upang laging handang tumulong sa inyo lahat. Magandang umaga at maraming salamat po sa inyo. Maraming maraming salamat, sir, at palakpakan po natin ang ating GPNP, Police General Guillermo Lorenzo Eleazar. At ganun din po ang ating pasasalamat sa lahat po ng ating mga partner stakeholders sa inyo pong walang sawa at humpay na pagtulong sa ating pambansang pulisya at sa ating mga mamamayan. Also to our kabaranggayanihan and partner stakeholders from anti-kidnapping group, Mr. Kaluwen Chua, Mr. James Kumar, Bagong Buhay Masonic Lodge Number 17, our partner stakeholders from LSS, NGOs, kamay kamay po dyan, ma'am, sir. Again, paalala po sa ating mga kasamahan, lahat na nadito sa national headquarters, please maintain social distancing. Again, ladies and gentlemen, please be reminded to observe the safety health protocols, maintain social distancing, and always wear your face mask and face shield. Thank okay, you. Salam pasalamatan po natin muli ang ating mga stakeholders. Stakeholders from Communication and Electronic Service, Mr. Hazan Ford, Ms. Elizabeth Faustino, And also the stakeholders of the engineering service. The highway patrol group stakeholders, Mr. Ferdi Sia, Mr. Alfonso Coste, Mr. Henry Yu, and Mr. PJ Romeo. The stakeholders of the anti kidnapping Thank you all to our partner stakeholders, to our chief PNP. Police General Guillermo Lorenzo Arasar, the members of the command group, the directors of the directorial staff, directors of NSUs, regional directors, and other participants via Zoom and netizens who are watching us in Facebook. Sa atin pong lahat, sa ating mga kabaranggayanihan, maraming maraming salamat po. Together, let's support the Baranggayanihan Health and Food Bank in extending a helping hand to our fellow men. God bless us all at mabuhay po tayong lahat.